Hey, what's up guys? This is Dom from MacMixing.com and today we're going to be doing a benchmark test against the new iPad and the iPad 2. As you can see, I have no apps open here at the bottom. Everything's closed, everything's empty. Uh, they're actually set to the exact same brightness. Everything's pretty much set exactly the same on these two devices. So, iPad 2, new iPad, benchmark test, and let's go with it here. Let's open up Geekbench here. And obviously these are on the side, so let me fix that for you. All right, you guys, so we have the iPad 2 right here and the iPad 3 or the new iPad, whatever. I don't care, it says iPad 3 right there, as you can see, in the Geekbench 2 app. We have iPad 2 and then we have iPad 3 comma 1, whatever that means. Um, they're both running iOS 5.1. The processor model is different, obviously, because this is the A5X, but it's funny how that says Apple A5, 1 gigahertz. This says ARM version 7, 1 gigahertz. This is running the A5X. This is running the A5. Uh, double the memory, double the RAM, as you can see right there. 503 versus 988. Um, it's, I mean, it's virtually double the RAM. So, like I said before, uh, there's no apps open on either of the devices as you can see so these are both running uh, clean reboots for each so we're gonna go ahead and run the benchmark and and this is gonna be a completely honest comparison between uh, the two processors and whatnot and they should be fairly similar because they are basically the same processor so let's try it out you guys and we're running our benchmarks here Who's gonna win? This is a race to the benchmarks. This is the benchmark triathlon here. And you guys probably don't wanna wait for this, so here's the results. All right, you guys, so here's the results here. And they might be surprising to you guys a little bit here. Um, the, Geek bar, uh, the Geekbench score on the new iPad is 752, while it's 771 on the iPad 2. Now, take that for what it is, I don't know. Uh, that's not very big of a difference, though to make uh, a huge difference in performance. But as you can see here, uh, we have all these different points here, like the floating point, memory stream, integer. Um, they're all very, very similar, as you can see in, in comparison. And then um, when you go to the breakdown of each of the scores, they're actually, I mean, they're pretty, pretty close. And that should be true because they are basically running the same processor. Um, it's just the, the new iPad has quad-core graphics integrated. And basically, you can see here, like the floating point score 920, 921, they basically get the same results. This is actually a little bit higher uh, in memory performance. We get a 775 on the new iPad, while we get a 7, or an 861, excuse me, on the iPad 2. Take that for what it is, make your own conclusions from that, but I just wanted to kind of put this out there in the open and show everybody. Um, but basically, they're both the same. They both get the same benchmarks, fairly similar anyways. You know, obviously, we're like 20 points off there. So this is the Geekbench test for the new iPad versus the iPad 2. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe. And go follow us on Twitter right here. And our Facebook page is here. And both of those links are in the description. So go check it out, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much. This is Dom from MacMixing.com, and have a great day.